nice. Yes, I see what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like a soul possessed, I have studied and assessed the creatures of this earth. And from moose to eel, what my studies most reveal is the male's inflated worth. For in most of the animal kingdom, the ladies only seldom need men. Their dealings are straight, they need them to mate, and never see them again. The bear, the tiger, the hamster, and the mole have females who live fruitful lives outside of male control. For one mindless spasm, they allow the male his role. That's marriage for the tiger, bear, and the hamster. Now the mole, who's blind, will never be confined to one male she's merely felt. Once his seed is sown, she has her babes alone in the hole where the male mole dwelt. And as for the boa constrictor, she needs no more than one male response. For when it appears, she stores it for years to use whenever she wants. The ray, the rhino, the penguin, and the tern. Those females know that motherhood is not a male concern. Of course, they're not human, but they show what we can learn. They point the way, the rhino, ray, and penguin. In a field or brook, almost anywhere you look, are mothers on their own. In the deep, on high, mothers kiss their mates goodbye, and they raise their young alone. Now I make no brief for the mantis decapitates her mate during sex, but I do like the auk who mates with a squawk and then throws rocks at her ex. The bitch, the vixen, the queen bee, and the shrew. What men have done to those fine words we never can undo. They're strong working mothers, yes they're just like me and you. Let's redefine the shrew, the bitch, and the vixen. And be like the seagull, roam free as the links, and cruise like the caribou's if we choose, and not have to wait for those sly little winks from some man who envies the sex life of minks, and not have to guess if he's one of the thinks, or whether he stinks, or whether he drinks, or what he thinks of. should put upon my plate that quintessential male. I would stick like glue, yes, I would be as true as any beaver, owl, or whale. But till then I'll envy the oyster, who lives a happy life on the shelf. When she wants a term, she releases some sperm and fertilizes herself. The bear, the condor, the guppy, and the bream, they're all out there doing what you The will to dare can follow the tiger and 